Hey, rock and rollers. Where is it at? This morning, I'm just looking at a few things here. I've dug these out of the uh, cupboards and whatnot. And uh, these are some tickets that I've saved over the years. Uh, this first one, this is the Bridges to Babylon tour that they did, I believe, about 1997 to about 2000. And uh, it was a rescheduled event at the Don Valley Stadium. And there it was, the 6th of, the 6th of June, 1999. It's supposed to have been 98, but for some reason it was 99. Don't know what that was. Um, anyway, and uh, we went to that gig and we had to stand there you know, sort of three o'clock in the afternoon, you had to stand there till about nine o'clock at night and wait for them if you wanted to get a good view. And um, so I stood there for hours and hours. And uh, on that day, on that night, it absolutely poured it down with rain. It poured down with rain. But it was absolutely electric, you know. The crowd was pretty good. Crowd. The audience were pretty good. Um, and the... Uh, the band came on and they they just were exactly what you see in the pictures you know that it's like somebody sculpted their faces with a knife you know like the you know the creases in the skin and whatnot you know and all that and I was right at the front you know so it's really really good and then after that we went round the back of the Don Valley Stadium at the back um, and we got talking to the roadies and we went and had a wander around on the stage which was really quite good you know and uh, at that point in, in time, I think those like pe like bands like Metallica and, and bands like The Stones and that, I think it had cost about a million pounds a week to keep the stage on the move, you know. So, uh, and uh, we were wandering around where there'd only been an hour since, you know, and then there they were. And then there we were walking around on the stage. Absolutely fantastic night. Got home about half past two and probably got pissed up after that. You know, really enjoyable night and hard work, and but it was just great. Listen to some music when I got back home, and what more do you want? You know, and then um, and then uh, this is uh, another gig that I went to, which was uh, at the Manchester Evening News Arena, which was a bloody awful place, concrete, absolute concrete place, and it was just bloody awful. And uh, the gig itself weren't very good. And it costs quite a lot of money, 150, so 162 quid each. And they were good seats, but I weren't allowed to sit in mine. For some reason, they wouldn't let me go down to the right, you know, right to the front. Because I, at that time, I had dreads. And uh, I don't know whether they didn't like them or what, but there you go. So that was the end of that. And uh, it wasn't a very good gig, and I came home very disappointed from that one. That was in the middle of Manchester. It bloody awful. Absolutely awful. But these are some, like, uh, of these petals that they release at the end of the gig every every time they do a a show they release all these hundreds and hundreds of what I, I, I can presume are rose petals or allegedly supposed to be rose petals and I just picked them up and took them home you know and then the next one this ticket here this was a few years ago and this was uh, I think it was 2017 I think or 18 something like that 2017 or something and uh, that was at Coventry at the Rico Arena which is uh and that was a, a good gig. That was really quite good. You know, I was up in the gods sort of thing. Um, but uh, it was still a good view in that. And, uh, you know, the Stones only had a, a very um, a very sort of pulled back sort of uh, show. You know, it wasn't, it didn't have any uh, backing singers really or anything much, you know. It had um, a young girl in there doing the uh, Lisa Fisher parts. And then there was, uh, I think Bernard Fowler was there maybe. I'm not so sure. But going back to the Don Valley Stadium, of course, like it was Lisa Fisher, Blondie Chaplin, Bernard Fowler, and Bobby Keys. Bobby Keys was there playing the saxophone. Poor old Bobby Keys, you know. And he was bloody brilliant. You know, he was absolutely amazing. Of course, they go back to like um, making the uh, Exile on Main Street LP, you know, in South France, you know. And they all got up to all sorts of things in that. Uh, that house that they rent, that chateau that they all rented, you know. But yeah, you know, the Rolling Stones at uh, Coventry was very, very good. Manchester was quite a poor sort of thing. It was just probably this, the place. I think the musicianship was pretty good, but the sound of it was bloody awful, to be honest. But the, that one there at the Don Valley Stadium, which is now, of course, been demolished, that was brilliant. That was probably, you know, one of the best gigs next to Zeppelin that I've been to in my life. So there you go. 
a little bit of rock and roll memorabilia if you like and uh, always remember go to gigs keep the tickets rock and rollers <laughs> <laughs>